it's a Friday morning here on the air show. My name is Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much for joining me. And today we have to do uh, the Ghana Premier League. Also, we'll talk about the major European leagues as well and noted. Uh, we'll do the English Premier League. Also, we'll talk about the Spanish La Liga. Give you an idea of the matches to expect this weekend. But here on the local scene is the Ghana Premier League and the 2017-16 chapter uh, will be closed uh, this weekend with the top already decided. But the contention will be at the bottom where as many as Five teams are up for relegation. Now, Joy Sports Moses Yabua has the permutations. With the Diana Stars already declared Premier League champions, the heightened focus now shifts towards the fight to survive relegation, with almost five clubs yet to know their fate as the league heads to its closure. To my youth, look one of the likeliest struggling teams to join Boga All Stars to bid adieu to top flight action. They lie third from the foot with 37 points, needing a spirited performance against Rukum Chelsea away. Beleaguered Great Olympics may be returning to the Division 1 league as they sit second from bottom with 36 points. Miracles might not be enough for Lida Day as they clash away with a side fighting their way to safety by Chim United with 38 points just above the drop line. Liberty professionals will play at the Carindorf Park and that remains their only incentive on the final match day because their 12 status on the league log with 38 points shows safety is not guaranteed. The scientific soccer lads play as Santa Kotoko who victory will cement their place in the top four. Intalize can hit the survival 40 mark with just a draw if they put up a swashbuckling showing at their cross post stadium against home side had to folk as they hope to avoid defeat which will spell doom. Ashanti Gold are just a position better off than Liberty but not in points. The Miners also have 38 but could manage to take the needed points when they host already champions Adriana who might give their fringe players some run out. So there is everything to play for in that fight to avoid the ignominy of Premier League relegation on Survival Sunday. So that was Joy Sports Moses Yabo's report. Now, Crabbit Olympics must win at the Bechim Park uh, when they come up against Bechim United to stay safe. Now, anything away from that, we see the Wonder Club exit the Premier League uh, yet again. Their coach, Gordon Atram, admits they are in a very difficult situation. I think Bechim is a do and die affair. We got nothing excuse to give to anyone. If we want to be out of the relegation, this is a match on our hands. We have to do everything to take the three points and Olympics will be out from relegation. We thank God that head to head we are better than in the alliance, we are better than some of the clubs. So even at 39, we will be out of relegation. So that was a crowd with Olympics coach Gordon Atram. So the matches to expect in the Ghana Premier League with Ted T. Uh, Wafa Mediama SC is happening uh, this weekend as well as Bukum Chelsea Tamayu. Tamayu must win that game uh, to stay in the Premier League. As well as uh, we have a crowd hard to folk in Talais will be at the Accra Sports Stadium with Bichim United, a crowd with Olympics at the Bichim Park and Liberty professionals will be at the Dansuman Karindov Park to play against Kumasi Asante Kotoko with Bichim United, Accra uh, Great Olympics and Ashanti Go, the Diana Stars, the Omina Sharks, uh, defending champions, Wow All Stars and Boga All Stars will come up against a Busuan door. So that's it by way of update of the Ghana uh, Premier League. Well, Indiana Stars uh, will not be crowned champions on Sunday. They've requested that uh, they will be crowned champions later uh, with a coronation game that will be played at the Doma Park. So their game against Ashanti Gold will go on as planned at the Obasalan Clay Stadium on Sunday, but the Diana will not be given the trophy or the, that's uh, winning this season's Ghana Premier League. But we still have to stay here on the local scene. The uh, Black Queens team, you know, are preparing for the 2018 Afghan Women's Championship. And currently, as I speak to you, the team uh, left Accra yesterday for France for an international friendly with the French uh, women's uh, national team. And they are in Paris, as I speak to you now. Well, before they will leave uh, for Paris, the LOC, that's the local organizing committee uh, for the 2018 Afghan Women's Championship, uh, led by Madame Frida Prempe, went to the Ganaman Soccer Center of Excellence in Pram Pram, where the team are camping to pay a visit before their departure. Uh, for France yesterday. We are all preparing for AFCON 2008. And as a committee, we thought it wise to visit you at the training camp because we cannot work in isolation. You are going to represent us next year. So we wanted to come and have a look at what is going on here, how you are preparing uh, well for next year's Cup of uh, African Cup of Nations. I believe. This is not the first time you're going to represent Ghana. You've been elsewhere, and now we are hosting. And this is our duty to host and win. We cannot... 
your brothers recently won the, Af uh, the Wafu uh, tournament in Cape Coast. And I believe that as what Kwame has done, Amma can also do the same when given the opportunity. And now the ball is in our court. We are hosting. We cannot afford to host the Af AFCON 2018 and play second or third. We have to focus our mind that we are going to win the Cup 2018. And you, you all know that if you're able to win the cup, you have an automatic uh, placement for the World Cup, isn't it? Yes. So if you're aiming at the World Cup, you should work hard towards 2018. After all, the women represented Ghana at the World Cup for the first time, even before the men did. So why can't we do the same next, uh, next year? We hosted Cannes 2008, we couldn't win. But I want you to prove to all of us, to all Ghanaians, that as women we can even do much better when we are given the opportunity. So we are with you, we came here to let you know that as much as we are preparing, putting things together to ensure that we have a very successful win tournament, we cannot work in isolation because you are going to be a focus. So that was Madame Fida Prempe. She is chairman of the local organizing committee for the 2018 uh, Women's uh, Championship, which will be hosted here in Ghana. So the Black Queens uh, will take on France, uh, the Women's National Team of France. Uh, that's this weekend in international friendly. And talk of national teams, you know, the Black Starlets are also uh, in the competition. That's the 2017 uh, FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Well, tomorrow, God willing, they come up against Mali in a quarterfinal game, and that game will be played at exactly 11:30. We have to do some more sport, and this time we'll talk. Uh, matters uh, in Europe. Yesterday we had uh, matches played in the UEFA Europa League and Arsenal. Well, this is Arsenal not playing in the UEFA Champions League. They are rather playing in the Europa League. Well, yesterday they played against Rostar Belgrade. That's a team of uh, Ghana International Richmond. But she had and Arsenal won that game by a goal to nil. So Arsenal went away and won that game by a goal to no. Richmond Boachi had on here. The upright was just unfortunate not to have uh, scored Peter Cech in that game. They lost by a goal to no. Villarreal uh, were at home to Slavia Prague and they won. Uh, they actually drew with their game 2-2. So, so Villarreal, Slavia Prague and the 2-2 yesterday. Now AC Milan uh, were at home to AEK Athens and they drew goalless. And also Everton, uh, they defeated the uh, Lyon 2-1 at the Goddess Park. Go and obviously pressure is mounting on Ronald Koeman after all the signings and if the English Premier League things are not going well as well as the Europa League, then what was there to show for? So pressure on Everton manager Ronald Koeman. Yesterday they lost to Lyon at the Goddess Park. That's their home ground by two goals to one in the Europa League. Well, we've got one more game to show you. Lazio, we're at home to Nice. Well, Lazio is a team uh, that plays their club football in Italy, and Nice is in France. So in France, he ended 3-1 in favor of Lazio. So Lazio defeated Nice by three goals to one in France. Well, we're looking forward to the matches that will be played in the major European leagues this weekend. In the English Premier League, some cracking games uh, to expect this weekend. Actually, starting later tonight, where Andrea Ayuse, uh, West Ham United, will come up against Brighton, Hove, Albion. Then tomorrow, where most of the matches will be played, uh, we'll have Chelsea. They will engage the early kickoff at Stamford Bridge with Watford. Very, very interesting game. OB and Huddersfield Town will come up against Manchester United with Manchester City up against Burnley at the ATS. They obviously, we'll be hoping that Manchester City or see Manchester City continue their fine form in the English Premier League. We'll have Newcastle United, Christian Arches, Newcastle United will come up against Crystal Palace. Stoke City will be at the Britannia Stadium to play against Bournemouth and Swansea, where Jordan Ayew plays his club football. They will come up against uh, Leicester City, where Dan Lamate is, and we'll have Southampton, West Bromwich, Albion. That will be the late kickoff on Saturday. Sunday, two matches. Big one, of course, Everton Arsenal will happen at the Goodison Park, and also Tottenham Hotspur will play against Liverpool at the Wembley Stadium. The Italian Serie as well, Sampdoria Cotone is happening tomorrow, as well as Napoli in Milan. They will have AC Milan. They will come up against Genoa with Atalanta up against Bologna, Torino, Roma, and Odinese will come up against Juventus with Lazio playing Calari. So we'll see if uh, my brother Ojo miss team AC Milan this weekend will be able to win their game against Genoa. They play at home though, so we'll see what happens with Ojo miss team AC Milan. In the Spanish La Liga, Levante Getafe is happening next. Uh, that's uh, tomorrow. Rob Betis, uh, Alaves, uh, Valencia, Sevilla. And Barcelona will be at home to play against uh, Malaga with Villarreal, Las Palmas on Sunday, as well as Celta de Vigo, Atletico Madrid, and we'll have uh, Leganese, Atletico Bilbao. And Real Madrid 
will be at home at the Santiago Bernabeu to play against A. Baden on uh, Monday or Sunday. Sorry, we'll have two games. That's Rosaidad Espanol and Deportivo La Corona will come up against Girona. So on that note, we end sports uh, this morning here on the M Show. Thanks so much for your company and I know that it's been a wonderful uh, week. Well, God willing, next Monday we are back to show you highlights uh, from the boxing bouts, the make or break between Bukum Banku and Bastet Sama is happening this Saturday, that's tomorrow at the Bukum Boxing Arena, uh, that's around Kolobu. So Saturday, uh, take your girlfriend, your wife, uh, your relatives, your brother and your family members, take them to uh, see the Bukum Banku Bastet Sama uh, about the make or break happening this very Saturday. Also, the Ghana Premier League matches will be on last one of matches in this season's Premier League. Diana Stars already crowned champions, already relegated. Boga Stars will be uh, waiting uh, for two other teams that will join them to uh, this uh, season's Division 1. Also, the Joy Sports Invitational Tournament, we are doing a special build that will start the interviews uh, today and they will bring you the respective uh, teams or companies that will be participating in the Joy Sports Invitational Tournament, which is happening, God willing, next week, Saturday. So join us on TV, on radio, and also on online for more sports. But most uh, importantly, on, t on online is uh, the Joy Sports page on my Joe Online and also you can follow us on the various social media platforms on Facebook as at Joy Sports on Twitter. We are at Joy Sports GH. My name is Benedict Ousu. Enjoy the rest of the program and enjoy your day.